Sunday morning and a little bit early. Well, not super early. It's already 81 outside degrees and it's 9.11 in the morning. Um, so I'm going to be doing some more taxi testing here. And I've got the AC, um, got the AC fans that are on the condenser wired up to the, the coolant fan. So they're basically wired together now. So when one's on, the others are on. And uh, see how that goes. Because uh, I have a feeling when I had the ECU turning the engine Turkey on. Traffic, Skyhawk 2378, Air Force, step down, wind traffic. Sorry, turning the uh, uh, AC Turkey off. Traffic, air 11 kilo, left cross, one, two, three. On full power. Um, that uh, the fans were going off on the condenser, and so immediately they would get hot, and then a lot of air wouldn't be drawn through the radiator and everything. Cherokee traffic, experimental two Tango Delta crossing runway 23 midfield Cherokee. Hopefully these guys that are just took off are not going to just stay in the pattern and do touch and goes. Two of them, I'm hoping they're going somewhere. Cherokee traffic, experimental two Tango Delta runway 23 high speed taxi Cherokee. Cherokee traffic experimental 2 Tango Delta runway 23 high speed taxi Cherokee That was fun. <laughs> Felt like it was getting a little light. Not really putting in. Cherokee, Cherokee County traffic 1223 Hotel is 8 miles north and north uh, west of the field inbound. We'll be setting up for a left hand, left hand downwind for runway 5, Cherokee.
All right, so the AC just clicked off then. So we'll see how long that takes to come back on. And it's only 103, so it may have clicked off. No, it's clicked off because of the heat soak. Interesting. And uh, aircraft inbound to Cherokee. Uh, I think we got a couple guys in the pattern at 2-3, uh, if you want to plan for that. Okay, I'll do 2-3 for uh, one two two three 3 hotel. Yeah, if I got here and there was no one out now, it's like a circus here. <laughs> I'm going to just sit here for a minute and, and do a cool down after that run. AC's back on again, that's good. Cherokee County traffic RV19 or 9 or Sierra Fox Trot left down one, runway 23 Cherokee. Cherokee traffic, Skyhawk 9, blue uniform turning left, crosswind runway 23 Cherokee. Cherokee traffic, Bramble 2 Tango Delta, runway 23, high speed taxi, Cherokee. Cherokee traffic, Skyhawk 9, blue uniform, right down the wind, 1823, Cherokee. Cherokee traffic, Skyhawk 6 is Delta, turning left, Crawford. Two, three, to the air to the east, Cherokee. Cherokee traffic. Experimental two, Tango Delta, clear of two, three, Cherokee. Cherokee traffic, Skyhawk 9, blue uniform, entering, returning base, Cherokee, runway 23. All right, well, I got the nose off. I'm not sure if the mains would have come off, and I don't think I was quite quick enough. So, uh, getting there. And I didn't have too much problem stopping. Let off a ton of speed at the start, as soon as I got Got the nose back down and then uh, it wasn't too bad the rest of it just easing on the brakes. So we'll let things cool down again. Cherokee traffic, experimental 2 Tango Delta, runway 23, high speed taxi, Cherokee.
Cherokee traffic experimental, two Tango Delta clear, runway two three Cherokee. Cherokee traffic sky one two hotel, turn final, runway two three, touch and go. Cherokee. Okay, so while I let you watch that run again, uh, just from this left camera view, I'll just give you a bit more information on here. I did actually look at the camera there that's mounted underneath uh, in slow motion and close up there on the right side wheel. And it looked like it did actually uh, stop briefly in the air once the nose came up. Um, that brake it kind of you know has a bit of friction on it always so it's not surprising so I, I believe that that right side wheel came off the ground just barely maybe for just a meter or something um, the left side didn't do that uh, anyway um, so just got to go a little bit quicker I guess and I can get the whole thing off the ground and what I've done now and I haven't had a chance to test it yet I've gone and adjusted the prop and added a little bit more static pitch just so the the initial run uh, from idle to power will be a little bit more uh, a little bit quicker a little bit more thrust and then I'm also going to be adjusting the governor just where I've got it set right now because I have it said it was running at 3600 rpm on the engine and when I was testing a while back I noticed that it seemed to have a, seemed to have a lot more sort of thrust to it when it was down a little bit lower closer to 30 500 maybe even in the mid 3400s so I'm just going to be adjusting that a little bit more and just to see um, if it's a little bit more uh, peppy on the on the takeoff but you know today I was going up the hill as usual uh, so it's you know slower going up that hill and there was no headwind at all it was completely calm so uh, didn't really have anything helping me there and I didn't have any problems stopping there and I still had it at full power all the way to the windsock so and these numbers in terms of the airspeeds there I'm using the indicated airspeed against marks numbers and it shows that I really only have to be going maybe three knots faster to have enough lift on the main um, wing there to get the aircraft off the ground and that's with a five degrees four or five degrees nose up attitude and that's where I got to on this one so I think I'm just about there I mean I, again I'm just taking it just a little baby step at a time and uh, so I'm not sort of risking anything because this way I'm pulling the power off every time and then pulling the nose up so this way you know I'm definitely slowing down um, when it gets airborne and, and actually that last run there when I got the nose off the ground uh, seemed to be fairly uh, comfortable there just sort of holding that um, attitude there at least you know it should hold it long enough just to get the mains off the ground and as I said I didn't have any trouble uh, stopping there so I think uh, with a little bit more thrust a little bit quicker run and maybe doing a static run um, before I start the roll just to get the engine up to full power I can uh, potentially uh, you know get the mains off the ground and that way I can just verify the numbers that Mark has projected for for the um, lift and uh, you know hand that over to Justin and say well there's your rotation speed right there and and everything's balanced and it's you know it's in the air and uh, you know not doing anything weird and so from then he can just basically take it up to there and know that he can rotate right there and it'll, it'll climb out so anyway that's still my goal I'm gonna keep pushing forward I got uh, you know another week before those guys get here at the earliest and I did notice that that a nose hatch did um, pop open or look like it was popped open when it was going down the runway uh, but when I got back um, it was fully shut again and I couldn't pull it open or anything so I'm gonna have a look and see maybe I need to put a stronger bungee on the handle that's holding that uh, shut uh, anyway hope you enjoy this little Sunday video thanks again for watching and tune in again and see what I have for you on the next one <laughs>